Hello, only entropy here, and I've got another boomerang video for you. Now these are more your late game boomerangs, and just gonna share some uh, tips with you. Now this is a Gleok wing, soaring boomerang type, that means it's long range, like the long throw mod on any weapon. And this could mean any any wing you put on a boomerang gives it this effect, longer range. You can even use elemental keys to some effect, uh, having elemental boomerangs that go farther. Gibdo uh, wing, that makes a good soaring boomerang that can be seen in the uh, underground areas. And this is the problem I have with the soaring boomerang. It's too neat, it's not really useful, and it causes you to take your eye off the enemy, which can be fatal. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I'm, I'm not about to let that lie. Whatever I was doing before that is, is, you know, that's on the back burner now. Normally I wouldn't use something like this for something as low as a moblin, but uh, when you're talking revenge, even, you know, I'll, I'll use, I'll use, I'll use a, a lionel part to take him out. It's a little bit of a overkill move, but uh, now notice how this one works. I hook it around behind him so that as it's on the return movement, it gets him in the back. I even kind of lure him into position by running a certain direction. But even when it hits his shield, it doesn't fall to the ground directly. It goes around back and, and strikes him. Coming and going. Now, that's, that's uh, important to, to using the boomerang. Just pay attention. See how it, how it hit his shield and continued to fly past him and then around behind. Now, with, with a lot of these, they would fall to the ground when you do that. Any, any number of modifications that have that sledge effect would fall to the ground. But in that case, the Lionel part, I guess, overpowers the shield. Every boomerang has its uh, use, and some of the late game mods are pretty powerful. The Lionel weapons, very powerful, very effective on a boomerang. Some of the highest attack power of any of the boomerang mods. But those aren't the highest. These are the highest that I've found. That is a uh, an attack version of the giant boomerang there. Intact giant boomerang, Colgara jaw. That's uh, that's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. I like it. The problem with something like this is that uh, it's so nice. Who do I save this for? Who do I use it on? Ganon? Ganon, maybe? I think I'll save that for Ganon. Maybe. But, uh, you know, as to uh, the Gleok, the wing, that isn't the best thing you can do with Gleok parts. I'll show you the best thing you can do with a Gleok is uh, use their horns. Now, a lot of people like to use them for, for swords, but no. Nah. This is where it's at. This is where it's at. Now, remember, you can still use this as a sword. The giant boomerang can be used just like a claymore. And any of the one-handed boomerangs can be used as a one-handed sword, complete with whirlwind slash as well as the ranged attacks. So. That's something to think about. Like and subscribe. I'm only Entropy.